Hello, I'm John Shepard, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at the long and triple jump techniques of a young jumper from the University of Iowa in the United States. Hopefully, you'll be able to improve your own long and triple jump technique by considering the faults and issues that are identified and putting into practice the drills that are identified. This video is quite an interesting one as it throws up the concept of a jumper who does both long and triple and whether there are any issues in respect of that. Okay, let's move on to the hop phase and the angle of takeoff and the use of the free leg and the sweep of the free leg down and the rotation of the hopping leg through to the front is actually good. Now we have quite a unique arm action happening in the hop phase in that there's a double arm drawback of the arms prior to the takeoff and then what looks like a single arm split subsequently. I'd recommend that the arms continue the double arm action subsequent to the hop and extend away from the body. Jonathan uses what's known as a kind of quarter push action but the arms elongate subsequently and this helps guide him through the phase and gets the arms ready for the step. With this single arm action post takeoff there's greater opportunity to create instability and lose a little bit of balance on the step phase. It also looks like on this particular jump that the last step is too long. For most senior triple jumpers the last step should be around 2 meters 30 long. That's for males. Despite Jonathan sitting prior to takeoff, which he shouldn't, that's the distance that he's taking off from here. On screen now, you can see the step lengths of some of the top jumpers in the world as recorded by the IAAF at the World Indoor Championships in Birmingham. You can also see their phase ratios. That's the distance they traveled on their hop, step and jump phases. To correct this potential too long last stride, I'd suggest placing a marker about two meters 30 back from the triple jump board and working to that in training when doing run-ups and less so to the actual board, i.e. making sure that the penultimate step lines up with that marker. Okay, let's take a look at the step phase. Our jumper from Iowa seems to use his long levers very well here to get into a good position in the step phase and rebalances himself despite that single arm action. He then transfers using a double arm action and gets his trunk upright and holds a good position throughout the step phase. Very recently I was given some advice on how to improve Jonathan's step phase and it revolved around lifting the thigh higher throughout the phase. And when he did this he obtained greater length and his arms seemed to come back into a better position than before and his extension into the jump contact improved. As noted, our Iowa jumper's step phase is one of the strongest aspects of his jumping. The hang style used for the triple jump jump phase starts off pretty well, but then the elongation of the leg below the body actually works against what it would do in the long jump in that it pulls the body forwards and creates forward rotation rather than combating rotation. And you can see the heels drop prematurely into the sand on the landing. Doing a hang in the jump phase of a triple jump requires excellent execution if you're not going to suffer from that forward rotation. I'd hence probably go for a more simple style of jump technique, the sail, where the free leg is driven in front of the hip and held and the arms stretched up overhead. Hopefully you can see the superior landing position from Jonathan in these comparative shots. You'll see the torso is more upright. Triple jump is all about maintaining velocity through the phases and you need to work the foot contact in each by drawing the foot back towards the body. And I think this is something that all triple jumpers should work on. The movement into the contact comes first from the hip, then the knee, then the ankle or the foot rather as the foot is pulled back to the track surface. 
you have to delay and elongate the movement and wait to make the contact. And there are some parallels between the long jump and the triple jump for the athlete in that here, initially I can see that the last step onto the board looks too long, the same as it was with the triple jump. Interestingly, in the making of this video, I realised that both the guy from Iowa and my own Jonathan from our training group are both long and triple jumpers, and that sometimes doing the two events can be at cross purposes with one another, i.e. we've seen that the takeoff step for the triple jump is longer than for the long jump, and it could be this that affects the long jump takeoff for both of the athletes. I know for example in coaching Jonathan for the long jump that we find it difficult for him to create a shorter last step and it now begins to make more sense when perhaps you're more of a triple jumper than a long jumper. As I indicated if you reach for the board and lead with a two straight leg you're going to break and this is going to affect your takeoff velocity. Thus being a long and triple jumper and having to train specifically for the demands of each event could be problematic and it might be the case that a specific focus on one of the events needs to be made more than the other. The USA's Mike Connolly, the 1992 Barcelona Olympic triple jump champion, is one of the few elite athletes that was elite for both the long and the triple. But returning to our Iowa jumper and his takeoff, Again, as with the triple jump, you can see a pushing into the takeoff rather than a running into the takeoff. And in fact, it's more exaggerated than the way Jonathan does it. Our Iowa jumper also needs to delay the extension of his free leg away from him just after takeoff, as this will enable him to climb further into the jump before he does his mid-air action and will better combat forward rotation. And indeed it is, as you can see, a similar forward rotation to that which occurred in the triple jump happening as the jumper comes into land, i.e. the feet drop and he loses vital distance. There also seems to be some rotation through the body as well, which doesn't help. Now it's difficult for me to see exactly what happens on the jump due to the official in the yellow shirt, but it looks like a hitch kick is the technique that's being used and I'd say that the rotation is being created not only from going too early into the extension of the foreleg after takeoff but also because that free leg is not pulled down long under the body to combat rotation. So here you can see Sarah from my group putting into effect what I'm talking about. She first holds her takeoff position pushes the foreleg out and then sweeps it down below the body to create a long thin shape that combats rotation and helps to get the legs into a better landing position. You'll also probably notice that Sarah's angle of takeoff takes her off of the board in a lower shallower direction and that means there's going to be less braking at takeoff and more speed transference into the jump and therefore everything else being equal distance. It could be an idea for our Iowa jumper to use the drills that are being shown on screen at the moment as I found them to be successful in improving the long jump takeoff and the position of the free thigh subsequently. Do look out for a video on the channel on that particular subject. Hopefully the information I've put together in this video using the Iowa jumper as an exemplar will benefit you and your training and your long and triple jump technique. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel and please leave any comments or suggestions you may have in the section below this video or through my social media and good luck with your training and competitions. And if you subscribe to the channel you'll also get access to more content, for example on my trips to athletics meetings and also short videos on drills and some of our workouts. And if you'd like to find out more about the free lap timing system, which I've been using throughout my training recently, drop me a direct message.